was trying to state the bottom line. And the bottom line was that Bob Mueller identified some episodes. He, he did not reach a conclusion. He provided both sides of the issue. And he, his conclusion was he wasn't exonerating the president, but he wasn't finding a crime either. Uh, Bob Bill Barr. Barr. Uh, Bill Barr, yeah. Bill Barr, uh, talking about Bob Mueller. And their relationship, I think, is fractured uh, after they have, I believe, have differing conclusions about a key meeting where uh, Mueller said multiple times that it, the only reason, the, there was beyond just the reason that you can't indict a sitting president, that there was no collusion. He changed his story yesterday. Meanwhile, let's bring in Mark Levin, uh, host of Life, Liberty, and Levin a host of Levin TV on Blaze TV, and author of the number one book in the country, number one on the New York Times list, Unfreedom of the Press. Mark, welcome. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, well we got to get you... I, I, watched, uh, I watched Bill Barr there. First of all, he's an outstanding attorney general in a very difficult time. Here's my question, and he's right on. Uh, if Bob Mueller can say, we can't say the president didn't commit a crime, I would say to uh, Bob Mueller, I read your report, volume two. Can you show me where in your report you say that you had probable cause to indict a sitting president, but because of those memos you couldn't indict him? Can you show me where in your report you say, here's the evidence for probable cause, but because of these memos we couldn't indict him? This guy is a complete fraud. And when he was standing there, I thought to myself, I know why you don't want to go before Congress, because you're incapable of being grilled for seven, eight, nine hours. And I now know why Jerry Nadler doesn't want him to appear before the House Judiciary Committee, because the Democrats now have their narrative. Thanks to this guy, who just pops off and undermines the Constitution, they don't want the Republicans questioning him, why he didn't go into areas he should have gone into, why he hired who he did hire, what he means by obstruction of justice, to go through the law and to go through all the points. The Democrats don't want any opposition. There's been no court hearing to challenge this man. The president hasn't been able to put out a report formally as part of this report, as under the old independent counsel statute. They, all it is is one way, media push, impeachment, impeachment, impeachment. Then why now. did he do it? Why did he do it, Mark? Why did he give that speech, Bob Mueller? He gave that speech because in exchange for that speech, they're not going to force him to testify. It's the Republicans who are going to have to force him to testify. He gave Nadler what Nadler wanted. They were not happy with the report, so he went further than the report. Things that he said during that eight and a half minutes regarding collusion and things that he said about obstruction are not in that report. He took two steps further. The Republicans must demand that he come there, he testify under oath, they want eight, nine, ten hours until they're done. They control the Senate Judiciary Committee. Lindsey, a little less TV, a little more oversight. Call him in front of your committee, subpoena him. I don't care if he's gone off to the villages or Boca Raton or wherever he's retiring to. Drag him back. You don't get to drop bombshells like that and throw Molotov you cocktails like that, undermine a president, and then off into the sunset. You know, Mark, what? Democrats now are calling for impeachment. Nancy Pelosi was on with Jimmy Kimmel. Watch this. This was last night. When we go down this path, we have to be ready and it has to be clear to the American people. And we have to hope that it will be clear to, uh, to the Republicans in this United States Senate. So, the public deserves to know the truth. Yes. The facts. But let's just put it this way. Uh, we understand our oath of office to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Yeah. Apparently... The president does not understand no, I his, think he oath, understands of, it. his he just, oath of office. He, I think the president wants us to impeach him. You agree with that? I think she's uh, absolutely out of her mind. As a matter of fact, um, go on Jimmy Kimmel and discuss impeachment. For her, this is all about promotion, ego, narcissism. She has no interest in finding the truth. She has no interest in the oath of office. They have no interest in the Constitution of the United States. This is called separation of powers. All these subpoenas they're throwing at the president, which are outrageous. It doesn't say in the Constitution, Congress gets to subpoena and the executive branch must bend on its knee. No, he's challenged them in court. It's called judicial review. He's protecting the office of the presidency. He doesn't have to just give her everything she wants. The president didn't commit any crimes. There's nothing in this report that says they had probable cause showing that he committed any crimes. I've never seen anything like this. 
The American people should be furious. You want to know should. what the old Soviet Union looks like? It looks like her. Right. You want to know what despotism looks like? It looks like her. To go on these shows and say that Mueller says this, he's a prosecutor. Nothing's been tested. Nothing's been challenged. There's been no contrary information allowed. Right. To hear this Nadler go on MSNBC and CNN and say, oh, he's a liar and he's a criminal and he's a this and a that. Then she sits there. Well, let's see where this leads. We're going to look for the facts. Here's what they're up to. They want to drive the president's ratings down. They want to get him to 35, 34, 33 percent. Then they're going to strike. Right now, the president's ratings are significant. Right now, the American people don't want impeachment. So this is a full-scale gotcha. propaganda effort with her, with these, with, with these uh, chairman of these committees, and with their favorite cable channels and newspapers. That's exactly Mark, what's going on. Uh, mm -hmm. Mark, uh, the, the dual sense of justice really started with Hillary Clinton and what she decided to do with a private server. And when she was asked uh, famously by Ed Henry, did you wipe out your server? She said, mean with a cloth? She sat with a private server with top secret information. We know about all that. And guess who will serve as a keynote speaker at a cyber defense summit? Hillary Clinton, is there anyone less worthy to be a keynote speaker at anything with cyber in the title? It's incredible what the left and the Democrats get away with, their arrogance, their shamelessness. They'll wave around the Constitution, which they don't like. She's going to go and talk about cybersecurity, when, frankly, she should be wearing an orange jumpsuit and be sharing a cell with Michael Cohen. No, it's absolutely appalling. So I guess she'll be on Jimmy Kimmel next to talk about cyber defense. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is the Republicans have a job to do on Capitol Hill. Mr. Mueller must testify under oath. She's in irrelevancy. You know what she is? She's static, Hillary Clinton. She's done, whether she likes it or not. But Nancy Pelosi, Nadler, Schiff, these are dangerous people who do not believe in the rule of law, who do not believe in the Constitution, and they seek to disenfranchise 63 million Americans. That's a problem. Yeah, who Mark. voted for President Trump? Uh, yeah. well Mark said, Levin, Mark. Uh, unfreedom of the press is there. And even though the New York Times is skewered in your book, they had to put you number one on their list, and it's really got to burn them. knocked out Howard Stern. Congratulations. Congratulations, <laughs> Mark. Very Good well job. done. Well, I hope you all get it. Thanks very much. All right. Thank you. Mark we Levin. already have it. Thank you, right. Mark.